Miss Oaks? Anybody home? It's me, Miss Oaks, Jersey Callum, Homicide Division. Remember? Lieutenant, something's not right here. Yeah, Mama, you're not right here. Ever knock? We do. I knocked. I yelled. You didn't answer. I was sleeping. People do that in the privacy of their own homes. You getting up? Or are you just going to bed? I don't have to take this crap. Allie! 
You bastard. Allie! I tried to find you up at the school. You're trespassing, Callum. The dean of the English department said you quit weeks ago. Just get out. What the hell is this, huh? What happened to you? Just leave, please. All right, Mullen, pack it up. Huh? We're out of here. What about a... Uh, what about the witch? You know, you're really something for me, man. You, you, you're betting a thousand. Go on. Go. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to get good help these days, you know. It's funny, you know, because that's one of the reasons the game you know, to get help. I saw the fire, some things you burned up there in the fireplace, and thank you. I noticed my card happened to be one of them. So anyway, I'm going to leave you another card just in case. In case? In case what? I get the urge to help you dig up baby bones again? Like some dog you got on a leash? Allie, last week we dug up the bodies of three kids. I can't help you. It seems a mortician had kept them locked up in a storage room for some time. He kept them alive by feeding them... Damn it, I don't care! ...by feeding them parts of his other clientele. Clientele? You mean ca cadavers? The coroner found human remains in their stomachs. Oh, Jesus. The mortician turned himself in. He said he had some ghouls locked away in a storeroom in his place. God, enough! <laughs> Just shut up, will you? I don't want this crap in my life anymore. It hurt too much. Every time I'd be helping you on some case, I'd be praying we wouldn't find them. Just what the hell am I supposed to do with the grief, Jersey? What do you do with it? All right, you listen to me for just a minute. I'm going to tell you something. A lot of people don't believe in the so-called gift that you've got. A lot of people don't believe in what, what do you call it? Psychometry, huh? And I'll tell you the truth. I don't know if I believe in it or not. I, I have seen your work, and I've seen the results. Listen, on this case, we, we don't have it. We don't know who these kids are. We don't know where they live. We don't know who their parents are, you know? I don't have a clue. I'm supposed to tap every resource I have. And that's why I'm coming to you. You... All right, I know. You had it kind of rough on those last cases. So did a lot of people. Well, you go on, yeah. You go on live in this bizarre kind of tomb you made for yourself. Well, you can come out there and join the living and maybe, just maybe, between the two of us we can, I don't know, maybe we can help these kids a little bit. You know, at least promise you'll think about it. Yeah, we promise.
And you believe this to be true, this curse? Mr. Chen? You're not helping us here, Mr. Chen. I have told you what is true, all at great risk to myself. These are very serious charges that are pending against you, Mr. Chen. Now, your attorney... He won't be needed. Why is that? Because he can't help me. Well, you called us for help. Why did you do that? I did what I did because I was afraid. They are becoming restless, harder to manage. This cycle must be stopped. You must stop them. Just who are they? Come on, one more time. They are my masters, just as they were my fathers before me and his father before him. So you and your ancestors have been retainers then? Yes, three, three centuries. It is penance generations of my family have learned to live with. A penance? For mistakes my ancestors have made. Pay attention, that may be learned something. They involved themselves with things they did not understand. The occult? Okay, question. If these, if these things are, are so feared, so powerful, why do they require mere mortals to protect them? They do not. It has been my family's responsibility, curse, to see that mankind is protected from them. You see, if they are not fed, they will feed. But the bodies they found were dead, Mr. Chen. They, they weren't any threat to anybody. They are Kyoshi, the undead. When they are full, they can play possum very well. <laughs> very well indeed. You want to see it again? No. Well, what do you think? I don't know. Something... Something feels different about this one. What else have you got? Looks like... Mr. Chen here is the last of a long line. He was the only son, he's never been married, and there's no children. He inherited this mortuary business from his late father. Who had it before his father? According to what we found, he's from a long line of morticians. Why? Fresh meat? He'd have an endless supply of protein, wouldn't he? Organs, limbs. Now, he couldn't touch the bodies that he had to put out for viewing. No. <laughs> no. Not above the waist, anyway. But he could strip their backs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, Mr. Chin certainly is. Oh, I don't know. I mean, maybe he took those three kids, you know, invented the ghouls to create his own reality. I don't know. Just wasted three lives, huh? You mean four? Oh, just me. I'm, I, I'm sorry about, uh, you know what I said over there at the kitchen and all of this, talking about you building the tomb for yourself and all, and I just, you know. I was talking about Mr. Chin. Well, 
I'm sorry. I thought you meant, uh... Forget it. Doesn't matter. All right. But I'm telling you, any publicity this oh, time, and I'm walking. No problem. No, Jersey, I mean it. No, you hey. keep my name out of it this time. Look, you need to know basis. I don't basis. want people looking me up after. Not even you. Especially you. Well. Let's go see the bodies. I'd never see this place again. Yeah, well, you almost didn't. This building's gonna be torn down. The county coroner is consolidating the room's headquarters over in Jefferson. All these satellite buildings are gonna be demolished. In two months, this place will probably be the first one. Good. Just give us the tags, will you, Miss Poopin' Plots? Are you authorized? Okay, what about her? She is with me. Oh. Driver's license? <laughs> Porked out, didn't we? Hey, come on, will you? We don't have all night here. Ooh, cool your jets, Jersey. Fetch, Flusums, fetch! <laughs> None of our patients are going anywhere. Okay, come on, you two. What, are you serious? Look, I've got procedures to follow. No exceptions. <laughs> Now, you got an admissions form? Sorry, babe. Not allowed in the boneyard. Pardon? It's a morgue. It's kind of a, a new nickname. And well, it beats the stink hole. Oh, boy. Last year, we had one overripe customer in here, a floater. When they cut into him downstairs, the pus was oozing all over the place. We couldn't get the stink out. It was. Hey, just uh, line us up for a viewing room, huh? Okay, gift wrap two, John Doe's, 4012, 4013, chain 4014. Got a peep show party of three. Over. You've heard the spiel. A couple of times. Okay, hear it again. Now, my rules are very simple. Keep quiet, keep out of trouble, keep out of my hair. There's so little of it. <laughs> now, equipment's delicate, not what it used to be. You break it, you bought it. And I'll be checking it out before your IDs are returned, okay? Party hardy. Who the 
devil was that woman? I don't remember seeing her before. Well, you've never been here at night before. She has been on the graveyard shift since year one. Nobody has the guts to fire her, that's all. I think the only way they get rid of her is if they burned her at the stake. Oh, Shep, you been here? I mean, don't you have a home to go to? No, the dragon lady won't let me. You know what I think? I think she's fattening us all up for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, sure, sure. Listen, I, I have a guest here with me, Miss Oates. Allie Oates? Yeah. Shepard here. Willie Shepard. The Harris case. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, sure. You ID'd those uh, bone fragments I found. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so how you been? You know, I haven't seen you for so long, I thought maybe you gave all this up. I did. So, well, what, are you coming out of retirement now? Oh, sorta. Hey, all right. Uh, Shep, I, I want to show the uh, three kids here. Huh? Haven't you seen these three stiffs enough? Yes, I have. You know what I think I ought to do? I think I ought to wrap them all up, and then you can take them home with you. What, are we doing jokes now about dead children? Well, what do you think, huh? Don't ask. Any clothing, personal effects? Uh... Wait, wait. Just this... Just this one thing here. Doll? Nothing else? Nothing else. This is it. And I still can't go down and touch the bodies? No way. No, it'll be contaminating the evidence. The judge would throw the case right out of court. Shit. <sighs> hey, Chef. Think anybody'd miss a lock of hair? That's a little oriental boy. Yeah. Is that enough? It'll do. I'll send it right up to you. Thanks, Chef. Listen, uh, let me know how this comes out, would you? Yeah, yeah, sure. I gotta go. Peace and joy. Yeah, yeah, peace and joy. There you are. I'll need a quiet room. Well, is the old lounge still right down the hall? We're going to stay out here in the hall so you will not be bothered. Yeah, Allie. Hey, thanks. No, no. Uh, really. done anything yet. Think she can really help us? Oh, are you kidding? She's already led me to a lot of clues. But she's never solved any cases on her own. Well, but Allie doesn't work that way. From what I understand, she she gets these impressions, you see, and at first they're kind of, what, disjointed, right? And then later on in the case, they start to make sense. What, what do they say? Hindsight is, what, the 20, 20. Maybe she's a, a little uh, myopic. Well, so what? She uh, takes an object, something that belonged to the person who's missing or deceased. And, exactly. And what? Well, she's... Hey, you want one of these? No, thanks. Uh, see, a lot of times, these objects don't give her a, a feeling or anything, but other times, whew, she's right on the money. Does she have this all her life? 
Hey, come on, you make it sound like a disease or something. No, now, the story goes as I understand it. About eight years ago, she started going with this Canadian guy. See? And they lived together for a while, and Allie became pregnant. Swell guy that he was, when she told him, he split. Well, anyway, Allie decided that she was going to have the baby. But she, uh, she lost it. It was uh, ovarian cancer. Oh, wow. I mean, that's really rough. <laughs> After the diagnosis, she went through what, radiation treatment two years. Thought she fought like hell and she won. Not a trace, nothing. Anyway, she started getting these nightmares, dreams that were a little too real, and she started following up on them, and it seems like some of them had some validity to them. So how did you meet up with her? <laughs> she called me right out of the blue. No, I, I mean, I picked up the phone, I thought for a minute I had another one on the line. So I got some information on the case you're working on. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't believe her first, and I'll tell you later on. <laughs> Jesus, Jersey. I mean, you really believe in her, don't you? <laughs> hey, where, where, where are those keys again, sir? Yeah, look at this. Everybody's got to believe in something. Huh? <laughs> Turn it around, Marty. Delivery's downstairs. I'm trying to tell you there's no access. This is a lobby, not Grand Central. <laughs> Trouble here, huh? Pneumatic lines ruptured on the doors downstairs. They won't open. Lily Munster here won't let me through to the elevator. Regulations require direct delivery through sub-level three. The doors are closed, Poopin' Platts. What do you want me to do? Leave the bodies to stink up the parking lot? Settle down, huh? Settle down. Where's the chief administrator? He's in bed. Well, who runs this place at night? Come on, what's to run? There's me up here, five corners downstairs with a room full of stiffs. Everybody's been laid off or transferred over to that shiny new monstrosity in Jefferson. Terrific. <sighs> We're only good for the overflow. Look, 22 years of community service. And what do we get? The high and the mighty scrape off the bottoms of their shoes and hand us flattened human stool. Oh, ha. We get the leftovers. Like this. Look at that. Give me a break. I'm just a delivery boy. Is there any other way in or out of the sublevel besides delivery or the elevators? If there was, do you think I'd be tangling with her? Good point. Very good. We can work this out, though. Miss Poop and Platts, get someone over here to fix the doors down to some level three, all right? It's late. Well, try. In the meanwhile, we're going to use this lobby as the emergency delivery area, huh? You got it? Got it? Would you mind answering the telephone? Jersey! Help him out. Huh? Thanks. Jersey Calvin? <coughs> well, great. out sometimes they bite <laughs> <laughs> um so uh how did he uh she man it's a she if we knew that she wouldn't be here personally it looks like a suicide you know just add water <laughs> poof electrocution what a waste quite a cute one See? <laughs> Jen's dead. 
Yeah, they were taking him over to a psychiatric ward. Broke loose from him, took a service revolver, and... You guys like, give me a hand here? Well, it looks like you have another run to make, Marty. Who want to kill themselves? Who want to end up here? <laughs> some just some people out there. Yeah. Oh. Hey, whoa, whoa! Grab ah. the key! Oh. The key! Oh. The, key. Oh. the elevator key! You got it, Jim? Come on! Come on, man! Whoa!
Are you sure you want to see this? Come on, man. See the world. You want to stay in here and watch us? Go ahead and puke if you have to, boy. Let's see if you can fill this. <laughs> Go ahead and get the forklift, Harry. This one's a wrap. Understand, I gotta have that key. Forget it, Lee. That's what happened. I need the elevator key. Now! That gotta be warned! Warned? The bodies. The bodies we saw? They're not dead. Maybe the lab one. No. Please!
Jesus, Jersey. I tried to warn you. I had a vision. Really strong. Like nothing. Nothing I ever had before. My God, Chen was right. You know, I got a call about an hour ago from downtown. Mr. Chen killed himself. For what you told me, I don't blame him. It was a mess. We ran like crazy. Those of us who could run. You know, we were lucky we heard that bell from the elevator when you came down. Why didn't you take it back up? We couldn't. We were lucky just to get here. Oh. Easy. Hey, what about her? Oh, the morgue driver. Marty brought her in. But she was alive. Alive? My God. Are you okay? Is she all right? Better than she would have been. She was on the autopsy table. Damn it, Shepard. How the hell can something like that happen? Does anybody know who she is? Stana. My name is Dana, and it's not their fault. I, I did it to myself. Why? I live. It just hurt too much. How's that, Dana? Jesus, we got to get out of here. Goes through the switchboard. It's ringing. So, what about that door? There is another office that connects to the other side. Will they get us to the elevator? No, but it's closer than we are right now. Hey, whoa, whoa. I mean, wait a second. 
wait just one minute. I mean, those things could just be waiting out there, hanging around. For all we know, they're right outside the door. Maybe we should just stay put, wait until someone shows up here. I mean, sooner or later, someone's going to come down here and get ripped to pieces. Or worse. Maybe Chen didn't do such a good job of keeping that Kiyoshi thing locked up. Maybe it got out. Twice. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you saying that the one created the other two? But how? I don't know. I'm just saying that I think we ought to be careful. In case it's looking for new recruits. I hope the coroner's office has a slow night tonight. <sighs> this thing isn't working. Puba Blatz must be away from her desk, that's all. You can call later. There are other phones. Look, I'm going to open that door. And when I do, get ready to shut it, just in case. Knock the handle off of that. Suppose they're out there. We won't be able to lock this again. Hey, Shep. Could you use these? <laughs> Bingo. Skeleton key. Well, that's appropriate for this place. It's the evidence storage room. That's where they keep the stuff from the bodies. Hey, uh, hold on. Let me just have that ready. <laughs> We've heard of pipe bombs. I mean, it's diffused, but still. Look at this. Oh, this is great.
okay? Well, no thanks to you. What the hell are these things? Hold it away from your body and hold it tight. If you have to use it, it kicks. Just hurry, okay? I don't want to find out. Oh. Mullet! Jersey! We're okay! I'm okay! We're okay! Where are you in there? I'm at the elevator. One of those things is dead. There's another one dead in the toxicology lab. C can you get out of there? Yeah, the elevator's trashed. I shot the shit out of it. But we're gonna try to climb up through the escape hatch. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's another one alive out there, you know? How is she? You're gonna have to come up here, I can't reach it. Maybe if you get on my shoulders.
you okay? Yeah. Go careful, it's slippery. Come on. Well, that was pretty brave. Uh, not really. You think I wanted to stay down there by myself? I feel safer with you. <laughs> Don't tell Jersey that. He thinks I'm riding on the uh, badges of a long line of nepotistic cops. He'd think you were crazy. What about you? Do you think I'm crazy? Well, no. I mean, I don't know. Maybe frightened? Confused, maybe? Crazy. No, no, I just... I don't understand how someone like you could... What do you mean, someone like me? Well, you've got stuff going for you. Your whole life's ahead of you. I mean, you're, you're pretty. And... Why? Why? It's kind of hard to make sense of it now. Everything just seemed to come crashing down, you know? The opportunity was there, and I, I took it. It was just a stupid, idiotic mistake. Hey, it's okay, really. No, it's not okay. I tried to kill myself, Gordon. I mean, I gave in to every little thing that reared its ugly head at me. I just let life fall apart on me. I, I always thought that I was better than that. Stronger. But I wasn't. I just let it all go. <sighs> Shit, I... I just let it go. There's always hope. Try. Yeah. There has to be another way out of here, Shepard. Come on. The pneumatic delivery doors are busted. Close your head. <laughs> Take the freight elevator. <laughs> what freight elevator? Where is it? Oh, the morgue. No use, there's too much grease. The monkey couldn't get up there. Great. Another dead end. Okay, I'll help you down. Thank <laughs> you. 
That doesn't look good at all. How are you doing, huh? Okay. Okay. How about you two? Yeah, nothing a good long vacation wouldn't fix. How about two tickets on a freight elevator out of here, huh? Come on, Captain. Show us where that freight elevator is. Come on. Come on, please. Let's go. God. Damn. Oh. Come on. Is she okay? One of those things force fed her a chunk of its skin. Probably New Jersey. Poison. What about that thing in there? Well, it's not going anywhere. Well, we gotta get out of here first now. Send over a couple of units. They'll stop it. What if they can't stop? Well, this'll stop it. Those things sure aren't immune to concentrated firepower. What, do you kill one up with that? Yeah. Well, where'd you hit it? I put two slugs in one went right through it. I blew its chest apart. Well, that figures. Folklore does center evil in the heart. You mean by killing a vampire or something? Well, I'm going to tell you something. After what I've seen here today, I, I believe anything. <laughs> what? No levity? Is everything broken around here? Even humor? I said some kind of weird party around here or something. No, Jersey, don't. Uh, don't. You probably have a concussion. Uh, oh, well, and this is? 
Narra. I'm sorry. I, I got you into this kid. I, no. No, I, I never thought that. No, Jersey. Uh, I'm the one that owes apologies around here. Uh, to you. To all those people that I turned away. Nothing made sense anymore. People either wanted something from me or they wanted to burn me at the nearest stake. Sure, the hell wasn't my life anymore. I wanted out. right. I was building my own tomb. Oh my God. Jersey. Mullen. Oh my God. Don't you. Don't you. Uh, Jesus, uh, we thought. We gotta get out of here. There's gotta be another way out of here. Stand back, all right? Was waiting for us.
I'm fine. I'm okay. The dog! What about... Dead. <laughs> Barbecued. Can you make it out of there? I can wait. Just take care of Jersey. Okay, don't move. Just stay put. Help is on its way. All right. I'm fine. I'll be here.